let's go over what kind of notifications you get on your iPad screen or on your notification center. Notification center is a drop down. If you um, run your finger from the top down, this would be your notification center where you would have unread emails or text messages, things like that. All right, so settings. Find your settings app. It's a gray icon. It looks like a little sprocket. It says settings. And you will find your settings for your type of notifications in the notification center. So if we click on notification center, um, this top area here is for what kind of things you want to show up in your notification center. Again, that's your drop down screen. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. That's not too difficult. This here though, the include down at the bottom of the screen. Um, these are things that you can re receive notifications for, okay, and in different ways. So let's look at messages here. Um, so you've got this alert style up here. This doesn't have to do with sound. This has to do with um, what you see on your screen. So you could have selected none, which means you're not going to get a little pop-up message on your screen. You could have a banner, um, which sort of shows here. Up at the top of your screen, you'll get a little right up here. You'll get a, a little message line that gives you a brief summary or a few words of your message. Um, or you can get an alert, which be like this, you'll get a pop-up screen right in the middle of your screen with, a, with part of your message. Um, because I use this in my classroom and because I mirror my iPad or because I might hand my iPad to my students, I don't want any of those. So I keep mine on none. Okay. Another option is a badge icon. A badge icon, let me slip out of this for a minute is like right here. So my mail, I have three unread messages. I have another badge up here. I have one undone to do. Okay, so that's the badge. I like those myself for my classroom, so I keep that on. Um, and I don't like an alert sound, but if you want one, you can pick an alert sound from here as well as in the sound settings. Okay. Do I want to show my messages in Notification Center? Yes or no? Do I want to show it in my lock screen? That means that when my iPad is locked, I can still see the Notification Center. Again, that's that drop down screen. So if I lock my iPad, I can still drag down and see it. Um, if you give your iPad to somebody else, they'll be able to do that too. So that's up to you. Okay. So that is how you change your notifications. And you can do that for pretty much any app that has notif push notifications.